Hey y'all, it's Andre from Chakra UI and welcome back to the fifth iteration of Chakra Shorts. Like I promised in the previous video, today we'll be talking about Chakra UI and Formic. To give context on what Formic is, Formic is a form library which makes form validations look easy. So the plan today is to create a simple login screen using Chakra UI and Formic. So let's jump into it. Here we have the previously set form and the validations that we have in place is that the password length should be over six characters. So now let me try to log in with a password that's less than six characters. As you can see, an error is shown that the password length is less than six characters. So now let me try to enter a valid password. There we go, we have our values and our submission was successful. So now let's try to start coding and go more in depth into Chakra UI and Formic. I have some starter code here. It is a flex element and a box element. The flex element has a gray background and the box has a white background with some padding. On top of that, I've added Formic as a dependency in the project. So the first thing we need to do is import Formic. So let's go ahead and do that. From Formic, we'll use Formic, which is the wrapper for the form, and Field, which will be our inputs. So we'll start by initializing the Formic instance. We'll have some initial values, those will be email, password, and the remember me checkbox. And then we need to add the on submit. For me, I'll just alert the values. So we'll need some things from this Formic instance, the handle submit handler, the errors, and to check if the form has been focused or as Formic calls it, touched. Then we'll just create a simple HTML form and on submit will be handle submit. Then we'll use an element from Chakra UI, which is called VStack or vertical stack, which is a flex with a direction of column. This is really good because we can manipulate the spacing between the elements really easily. We'll set the spacing to four and we'll align the items with flex start. Then next up we have form control, which is a component from Chakra UI and we can know if the input has errors or not. Then we'll add a form label, which is for the email address. Then we'll add a prop called HTML4 and write email to know for which input this label is for. And the label will be called email address, you can change this if you want. Then next up we need to add the input, but we'll also implement the formic field and use the Chakra UI input for styling. So formic's field component has a prop called as and we can specify that we want to render the input component from Chakra UI. Then we need to specify the ID, name and type, which all will be email. Last but not least, to show you that we can use the Chakra UI props in this field, I'll set the variant to field. There we go, we have the field variant from Chakra UI's input. Since we have no validation for the email, we'll just go to the password where I'll show you how you can use the errors from Formic. So we'll create another form control, but this time we'll be using the isInvalid prop. The isInvalid prop is a boolean and we'll have it set to true if we have errors in the password field and the password field has been focused. Next up, it will be the same as the previous form, we'll add a form label and a field. Okay, we have similar input fields, but the second one will be a little bit different because we'll have some validation. 
So the field component has a prop called validate, which returns an error. Here we can set custom validations like we have with the password characters. Here I'll get the value of the password. And here I'll say if the value length is 6 or less than 6, then I'll return an error. Now the only thing that's left is to display this error and we have a Chakra UI component called form error message and we can display the error that way. And the value we want to display is errors.password. Then I'll quickly add the remember me checkbox and we'll continue with the button. The checkbox will have an ID and a name of remember me and a color scheme of green. Then last but not least, it's the button component itself and we'll name it login and we'll put the type as submit. And the color scheme will be green and the width full. Okay, so now the last thing we need to do is check if everything works well. Firstly, I'll enter a password with less than six characters. And there we go, we have the error message. Now we can just fix this and enter a valid password. And if we click on login, we should see the values in the alert. And there we go, that's about it. I hope you guys can use the power of Formic and the beautiful UI of Chakra to create amazing forms. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one.